What's up, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Quan, you know, coming at you with my first YouTube video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing my infamous, infamous bandana customs, but I'm gonna be doing the first time with some slip-on vans. If you go to my Instagram, which is p3.customs, you'll see that I got a lot of bandana customs, you know what I mean? But in this video, I'll just walk you through, because I feel like slip-on vans would be easy to show, a little tutorial. So, I'm about to show y'all how I get down with them bandana. You feel me? I'm gonna do a baby blue, little, something a little subtle, you know, because you know how people is with the, the blue and the red. They like, oh, why not? Do that? So, we're gonna be subtle with the baby blue. Start off with the materials needed a nice size paintbrush, some Mod Podge blue label, that's the fabric Mod Podge, um, then an X Acto knife. Make sure it's pretty, um, a new one, sharp. You know, then some scissors, and then of course the bandana, then the shoes. And then you want to place probably the corner of the bandana over top of the shoe. That's where most of the print of the bandana is, and that's the front of the shoe. So you want to give it a most effect. And as you can see, I placed it over top of the vans first, and I pretty much got all the way to that corner that's on the right and left side of the slip-on vans. And then I uh, cut a little a slit to where I have to cut it, and then I go all the way down pretty much as far as possible. Just a nice estimation. Um, then I take my brush and put. The Mod Podge on top of the shoe, um, pretty much cover it pretty well. Um, you can go as heavy as you want, um, get all the way in the corners and stuff like that. And then I place the bandana back over top. Um, you get it as flat as possible. You want to use your finger to get the bandana in those creases, pretty much where you're going to cut the bandana at. Um, as you can see, that's what I'm doing here. Then I take the brush again. I go over top of the bandana uh, just to make sure it's nice and flat and then get uh, more Mod Podge down in the fabric holes of the um, bandana um, and it makes it stick a little bit better um, and as it dries it just adhere to that canvas um, material and then it make a lot more easier cut make your cuts a lot more clean um, and I cut off the extra a little bit just so when I go do go do my cutting around the edges it just make it a lot more easier for me and as you can see I go over it again then we go to the back I'm pretty much the same method um, I pretty much took an extra piece of the bandana and just put it on the back. It's a pretty large piece. Like I said, you rather have too big of a piece than too small of a piece. I'll go over the same method. Um, put the Mod Podge on the back. Um, just that part of the heel on the slip-on vans. Then I place the bandana back over top of the back of the bandana, of the um, slip-on vans. I'll go over it with the Mod Podge again just to get it through those fabric holes in the um, bandana. And I cut it off, and as you can see, is that little part I cut off will fit on the other slip-on van. Um, we move on to the other shoe, do the same method. Like I said, make sure you put it over top of the shoe and you um, can fit it in those corners. As you can see, I'm making sure it fits in those corners, the right and left side of the slip-on van. So we're just doing the same method right here. Um, put a Mod Podge on top, nice and clean. Um, like I said, you can never use too much. Uh, you don't want to pack it on too crazy, but you do want to pack it on nice. Um, these bandanas are kind of thin. They do sell some fabric bandanas that are thicker. You might want to use a little bit more Mod Podge for those type of bandanas, but these are the type that you can buy in a hair store or it's the regular bandana. Um, these are pretty thin, so you don't need too much Mod Podge. Um, and I'm going back over it again, like I said before, with the Mod Podge. Now I'm working on the other shoe and I'm cutting. I'm pretty much just going around the creases where I pretty much put my fingers in those creases and I'm just cutting. I'm being pretty gentle because you might not notice, but I kind of cut through the shoe a little bit. Um, I did not know the lip of the canvas and the, pretty much the midsole was pretty thin. So I kind of cut through it a little bit. Um, so you want to be pretty gentle because these X-Acto knives can be pretty sharp. Um, which is actually a good and a bad thing because if you're not gentle like you said like I said I cut through the shoe a little bit But if you do it just right, you can see I'm doing really clean cuts and it's working out pretty well um, I'm getting through it pretty fast even though this video is pretty sped up, but I'm getting through it pretty fast And it's gonna come out pretty clean as you can see real real clean and I move on to the back of the shoe Get some clean cuts um, you just want to be as careful as possible, like I said. Um, first of all, because the X-Acto knife is pretty sharp, so you want to just be careful with yourself. Uh, make sure it doesn't cut you or anything like that. But also with the shoe, um, just give it the best clean look. As you can see, 
can turn out pretty dope. You can keep it like this if you want to keep the sides white. But as you can see, I moved on to the sides. I wanted more of the bandana look more than the um, just the white Vans look. So I went ahead and moved on to the sides. I was going to keep it like um, I just showed you, but I just wanted more of the bandana look uh, just because this color is pretty dope. Um, it turned out pretty dope. Um, and I'm just doing the same method. I um, pretty much used the middle of the bandana um, just to give it... Um, a different look on the sides because it is a different part of the shoe so i use the middle of the bandana that had these these different shapes on them um, i'm doing the same method i'm just working on one side and the back of the shoe actually has like this slit in the middle um, i pretty much went off of that and you can work on the other side and it can just meet in the back in the middle um, as you can see i'm just going along now just cutting the sides pretty clean cuts as before um, the cuts is going to make a huge difference in how it's going to look um, it's also you putting your fingers in those creases, flattening it, flattening down the bandana as you went along and put the Mod Podge on there. And putting the Mod Podge on top, once you already put the bandana down, will also help. It will just help adhere to the canvas material. And I'm kind of glad I went the route of putting the bandana on the side because as you guys can see, it turned out really, really dope, really clean. I love the color. The color is <laughs> really immaculate, especially for the summertime now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Hope you guys found this video very helpful. If you want to do it at home, I'm definitely more than welcome to. But if you want to put an order on me, hit me up. I got you. Appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, more videos to come. Thank you so much. And if you found this video helpful at all, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.